Today we are going to go over the blessing that is the sneak peek of season 2 of Camp Cretaceous that was recently featured by the Jurassic World YouTube channel. The sneak peek of the upcoming season of Camp Cretaceous looks absolutely amazing and just from this small clip it has me even more hyped for the premiere. Welcome to the channel fellow explorers. If you're interested in dinosaurs and all the other amazing creatures in the animal kingdom, here's the channel for you. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and joined the channel and I'm grateful for all of you who have. On the channel we discuss animals and movies and the world around us. So it looks like Darius and the gang are still trapped at the park post Indominus disaster. But they are seeking a rather odd solution to getting off the island. The best solution seems to be in the Tyrannosaurus habitat where they need to get access to a communications device hidden in a fake fallen tree. It seems like the communications device has the ability for the kids to send a message to the mainland. It's a pretty odd place to have a device like that in a tree of the T-Rex paddock. I just find it extremely confusing why a device like that would be in with the T-Rex. It would make a lot of sense that the device sent a message to ACU or something, but if they're trying to get off the island, I'm not quite sure who they are trying to send a message to. I could see the device being used if someone is stuck in the enclosure and it sends for help from people on the island, but I'm really not sure what it does. Like I would think it would seem a lot more convenient if they could send a message from one of the labs or other buildings to the mainland on say a laptop or something. But it seems the fake tree device is their best option. The scene starts off with Kenji and Darius trying to open the communications device to send out the SOS. Unfortunately for the boys the device is locked due to the tree being broken down. While the boys continue to break into the communications device Rexy is making her rounds. While Rexy is making her rounds, it seems Sammy is stuck in the tree. In a very suspenseful sequence, as Rexy walks beneath Sammy, Sammy tries to stay completely still to be unseen. Right when it looks like Rexy spots her, she actually bites the branch right beneath Sammy. This is a super cool shot, and I think it would be even cooler if Rexy was given all her trademark scars for continuity's sake. But yes, in a mind blowing twist, Rexy, the T Rex from the first Jurassic Park, is building a nest. This has me very confused as to why Rexy in her later years is only now building a nest when in the past she's never had these behaviors. Could Rexy finally be having babies and she's preparing a nest for her little ones? How in the world is this possible? Is there another Tyrannosaurus on the island? What we do have to keep in mind is that these events in Camp Cretaceous are supposed to have taken place before the Fallen Kingdom and after the first Jurassic World. With that in mind, could Rexy have had babies without us knowing? Okay, let's say Rexy is building a nest for her babies. How could this happen? Rexy as well as all the other dinosaurs of the park are made up of as much original DNA as possible. But where they lack the complete DNA, they make up for it by having the gaps filled with amphibian DNA. With this, it is possible that Rexy has the ability to impregnate herself in a phenomenon known as parthenogenesis. This is similar to the way Godzilla reproduced in the 1998 film Godzilla. Say that this is what's happening and Rexy is pregnant Godzilla style. It just leaves me wondering why now? With Rexy being around since the late 80s, why is Rexy suddenly having babies now? Now some could argue that it is because she is now able to roam free. But this is not Rexy's first time in this situation. She was in the same situation after the fall of the first park. So why now? Is she now mature enough to have babies because the first time around roaming free she was a lot younger and bigger? Was she just too young at the time? This just leaves so many unanswered questions. As Rexy is making her way back to her enclosure, carrying a stick in her mouth, it is awesome to see Rexy acting more animalistic and in the initial scene a lot more peaceful than we've really ever got to see her. She's just an old dino trying to build herself a nest. But as she heads back to her enclosure, the girls aren't able to contact and warn Darius and Kenji of the Tyrannosaurus incoming, and the scene intensifies. In a reactionary plan, Brooklyn opts to attempt to save the boys by yelling, What's up Brooklanders? leading Rexy away from the boys. It seems her plan is to yell, What's up Brooklanders? and get Rexy's attention, and have Rexy run straight at her. Or so it would seem. My first impression was that she somehow used the camera she had to project herself because in this clip all she's doing is kind of standing there in an awkward stance. But when we cut back to her, she's standing in a different stance. Unless she's trained by the world's greatest manador, I doubt her plan is to just stay there and become T-Rex Chow. But overall this mini clip release really builds the excitement up for the new season of Camp Cretaceous and has me absolutely pumped. With Darius flipping a mysterious switch, 
Rexy building a nest, and Brooklyn having Rexy charge at her, it gives us a lot to look forward to with just a 3.5 minute clip. I'd love to hear what you think about this clip. Where do you think the signal is being sent to? Is Rexy pregnant or just building a nest like bed? Is Brooklyn really being charged by Rexy? Let me know down below. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Until next time, this is Content Jungle, signing out.